bit further down on the east coast, Byron Bay is only 800 kilometers away from Sydney. It's like the Riviera. Alors à Byron Bay, surtout ce qu'on vient chercher, c'est un style de vie. Euh, la relaxation, la plage, le soleil. On the beach, we notice something really interesting. Male swimwear is getting longer and longer, while female one gets shorter and shorter. Between short and long boards, there's always a good excuse to come and surf at the eastern point of Australia. Byron Bay is a 24-7 party town. There you still meet some 70s tragics. A lot of seasoned workers and a lot of backpackers. Alors en fait, euh, backpackers, ça vient du mot backpack, qui veut dire sac à dos. Et euh, les backpackers, c'est des jeunes qui, qui viennent à l'aventure en Australie, souvent euh, pour un an avec un visa euh, working holiday, un an de travail et de vacances. Alors pour avoir droit au visa working holiday, il faut euh, avoir entre 18 et 30 ans. Et après, ça permet de bosser dans des cafés ou des fermes euh, à raison de 6 mois maximum par employeur. A creative center, Byron Bay is home to many artists. You would guess that Nimbin is only 80 k's inland from Byron Bay. Even though the law is really tough on drugs in Australia, keep your eyes wide open. Nimbin is the capital of cannabis smoking. People come from everywhere in Australia, especially in May, for the Mardi Gras festival. Nothing to do with French Mardi Gras, the 300 inhabitants of Nimbin will try to get you to taste their weed and cookies. Alors ensuite, euh, bah moi je suis retourné en France et, euh, et Flo est redescendu sur Sydney et il était grand temps qu'il se trouve un job. Euh... 